I, I like your house. It's roomy. It's very roomy. Oh, shit. Sorry! Calm down, calm down. Hey, Mom? Dad? Hey, hey, bud. These little Afghanis are loving this bad guano steeped with coffee. So, I'm going to move them to an 18-6 cycle. Oh, and don't forget to clone the yellow Tasmanians. They're gonna go veg in a day or two. Dad, do we have to keep your batshit formula in the regular fridge? Bud, it's just till the harvest. And for your information, that is primo guano imported from Malaysia. One of these days I'm gonna be tired and I'm gonna drink it by accident. Well, maybe you wouldn't be so tired if you weren't doing that whole gardening thing on the side. It's not a thing, Dad, it's my job. The suburban lawn is nothing but a mutant monoculture which bears no resemblance to nature. What is it, you need a raise in your allowance? I don't even spend what I have. Quinn, there are a lot of kids your age who would love to be in your situation. How do I know? I don't know any other kids my age. Well, try the internet. It's a great way for social exiles to find each other. If you wanna feel welcome. All right, my little baby, I hope you're thirsty. You wanna feel welcome, Hi, sweetie. I'm just finishing up my column. Then we'll start. Do you know where your sister is? <laughs> Homeschool. There's no escape. Park it gently. Aristotle's conditions for change are two opposed states of being, such as X goes from being F to being not F, or vice versa. Very insightful, Quinn. Yeah, I think that just about does it for today, guys. Mom, what, what's my grade? Since when do you want a grade? Yeah, Quinn, who needs grades? Mom, you used to teach real school, and I want to know what I'd get. Well, the point of grades in real school is unhealthy comparison. But if you want to compare, here's a list of some more exceptional people who are home educated. Tennis star, Serena Williams. Country singer, Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks? Good God. We're waiting to be impressed, Mom. It's not to impress you. It's to remind you that you're not alone. Yeah, well, misery loves company then. <laughs> okay, for tomorrow, please identify and sketch three cloud formations, and I suggest that you get to it before supper. Class dismissed. So what's up your butt lately? Well, just, you know, leave me alone. Why? Are you gonna go masturbate? Because if that's what's up, I'm cloud sketching elsewhere. Nothing's up, Hope, except that I just turned 18 and I'm already a wanted criminal. Yeah, so? No, I told you, I don't want you guys selling to losers. 
If you vouch for them, fine, but if they stiff us, they're getting their faces ripped off. You too. Love you later. Bye. I got Alto Cirrus. No way. I called Alto Cirrus. I'm already drawing the fucking convection layers. I call below the troposphere. Top, she's all mine. Now, Bring hope, it. I called Bring it. Stop Bring it. it. Bring hope. It. I called that cloud, and that cloud called me back. I hope. have stiletto. And I have Alto Cirrus. Jeez, Quinn, you know? We could be looking at this in a book. Don't you ever feel like you're missing something? No, bro. I hang out at that school. I see what those saps go through. Hope, I want to meet normal people. Quality people who aren't involved in the illegal drug trade. I'll try not to take that personally. Jeez, is it wrong to be part of life? I mean, okay, we're in it, but we're not in it. And it's all because our parents. Chill, bad. We're not some crime op with pit bulls and AKs. Mom and dad are boutique dealers. Great. Maybe they'll give us all boutique cells in prison. Quinn, you want quality? There it is. That sweet new Mongolian hybrid. Yeah. You fucking brown noser, are you done already? easier in the country, more space, fewer distractions. Hmm. Like those police choppers circling every other day? I found that pretty distracting, Diana. He needs a girlfriend. Yeah, we'll be loosening up already. Jeez, how do we ever bear a kid that doesn't inhale? <laughs> sure is mine. The only thing he knows about females is from sexing our plants. Maybe we should get him a hooker. I don't want you to hurt yourself, boys, but... Please be careful with that. Marilla, they can handle that. That's what we're paying them for. I gotta hear it. All right. Easy. Easy. Hi. Hello. Um. Uh, I'm Quinn, and I mow some of the lawns around here. And? How nice of you to offer. We're the Connors from West Haven. Dr. Charles Connors. And where do you live, Quinn? Oh, just across the street. Oh. I love the aubergine trim around the windows. Charles, look. Marilla, we've discussed this. We're not aubergine trim people. Wait, where do I put the good china? Crystal? Hi. Hi. This is Quinn. He's offered to take care of our grass. Uh, your lawn. Of course. Crystal, the china goes upstairs as an inside. Hey, um, do you want to walk to school together tomorrow? I still don't know where it is. Well... Sure, okay. Great. I'll, um... I'll see you then. Uh-huh. I see your parents take great pride in their property. The only good weed is a dead weed, I say. Charles is fussy about appearances. Burn them all, won't you? Bag them and burn them to ash. You know, my, my parents say pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Doctors, huh? From West Haven. I hear that in West Haven they will flog you for chewing gum in public. Well, then they'll keep to themselves. That's good. No, that's great. All these flamingo worshiping adults keep to themselves because that's all they care about is themselves. Not adults. Most. You know, you kids should be enjoying this. There's almost no rebellion left. Not if I can help it, Dad. I don't know what upsets me more, Missy. The fact that your street sales are putting us at risk or that your goods are cut from my cast offs. I wouldn't sell these to a frat house. Quinn, you just guanoed the same seedling 12 times. Huh? Stop. You don't get it, Hope. We clicked. Bro, you're so deprived you probably clicked with a plush chair. So what's the problem? Our parents are conservative types. Hope they'll probably think we're a pack of new age eco lunatics at, at best. Well, we are. And, and when she goes to school tomorrow, then it's over. Some guy is gonna snap her up in a nanosecond. Some quality guy who plays sports and his family doesn't grow dope or have 
batshit cappuccino in their fridge, or a, uh, a kid's sister running a cartel from the back of her Jeep. Some of those schoolboys are hot in a smelly beast kind of way. Yeah, you're screwed. And you're a big help, help. I don't get it. Are they related or are they dating? They're related and they're dating. So she broke up with the other guy? Hmm. Quinn, uh, you better put on some sunscreen. There's a bit of UV spillage from the halide lamps. Uh, how much is a bit, Dad? Are we talking like a bit of cancer? Less than sunlight. We'll have to refit the reflectors tomorrow. Hmm. You better put on a hat, too. I just can't believe that people really live like this. Mom, the OC isn't a tragedy. More like a horror movie. Oh! You don't want to watch this. It's very toxic to you. Who's that? Mm, that's probably just the new neighbors. Oh, shit. What sprites? Want to buy some cookies? What is with these kids? Take a goddamn hint already. Well, the lights are on. They think someone's home. Yeah, but the plants in here are in 12-hour light phase. If we turn them off, it'll ruin their photosynthesis. Go away, please! Dad, they're just wood sprites. Well, you look like big girls. Can't you read my sign? Welcome. Well, thanks, but we're not interested. But everybody else on your street is buying them. It's for a good cause. Oh, so you're selling conformity along with toxic sugar treats. Well, did you know that the Wood Sprites can trace their insidious origins back to Lord Baden-Powell, who was not only a neo-fascist, but was also an infamous advocate of apartheid? What? Yeah, ask your mom. And tell her that you'll just have to peddle your little boxes of bigotry elsewhere. Nighty-night. but how can their parents enroll them in a scam like that? I mean, we don't sell poison to kids. Why should they be allowed to sell it to us? Um, you know I have trouble making friends? Look, if we're so freaked out by wood sprites, how am I supposed to ever connect with people my own size? Wood sprites are evil. They're a league of pint-sized little narcs. I was a wood sprite. Yeah, but you grew out of it. Quinn! Oh, you gotta leave some of the spurge. It gives the law a natural character. It'll spread to the neighbors. Hey, if little characters spread to the neighbors, that would be just fine. Enjoy a nine to five hell, suckers. Spew as much CO2 into the biosphere as you possibly can. Jeez, why is it that the smoke from that thing is legal and ours isn't? Hmm. What's that smell? New purifier. Now the air from the house goes through a state-of-the-art reodorizing filter. Mmm, cherry blossoms. We still smell like skunk dad, if you're looking for it. Think of it more as Jerry Garcia's bubble bath. Great. Now be thankful, bud. High school is the nursery for all of this. to school together? Sure. I'll walk with you, but I, I don't go to school. You don't. But oh, but I'm not, I'm not stupid or anything. Well, I am something, but I I don't I don't go to school at at school. Really? Well, it's just my parents. I mean, they they don't believe in and they 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 don't want me institutionalized. 
Oh my god, you're like... Oh, no, I'm not like that. I'm not... No, I don't mean institutionalized as a mental. I mean, well, sure, sure, I can act crazy sometimes, but who doesn't? And I really just had a bad case of the flu. <clears throat> it was, uh... Oh, it was the bird flu. Oh, I hear that's bad. No, no, I'm, I'm better now, Crystal. I'm, I'm very healthy. Well, you look healthy. Thanks, yeah, thank you. So do you. Um... I'm gonna get a ride with my dad. I think it's time. I've missed quite a few classes. Good, because I am totally lost and late for my first period. Do you know where um, B241 is? Sure. It's, uh, it's that way. <laughs> <laughs> and then that way, uh, you hang a left, and there should be uh, stairs. Go right. Right. Uh, go upstairs, right? Yeah, that's a lot of stairs. Where is it on the roof? <laughs> really can't miss it. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay. What can I do for you, Quinn? I, um... A drop slip? Multiple Fs? Or... I'd like to know how I go about going to school here. Great, okay. We're, uh, we're talking next year. Uh, no, actually, I'd like to, uh, start today. Oh, did you just recently move here? A few months ago. Okay, well, let's see, we need, uh... Transcript from your former school, birth certificate, health records, and uh, your parents need to come in. Do my parents have to? Yes. They need to sign your admission documents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? I can't. This is a bad idea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You get me health and birth records. I'll see if I can get you in with an equivalency test. And my parents? Uh, most new kids get dragged in here by their folks. Never had one come in on his own before. <laughs> Must be a Haley's Comet year. Uh, why are the police here? Oh, they're looking for drug sales. Had a real problem with that lately. Mom! In the ground room! I, I have a birth certificate, don't I? Tell me you have some real official proof that I exist. Of course you exist, sweetie. Uh, you don't need an official document to say that you do. We're not North Korea. 
I am not signing anything. No son of mine is going to high school. I'm old enough to decide myself. Quinn, you have no idea how lucky you are. You're getting a first-rate education from your mother, who is a certified teacher. Mama, I love learning from you. I do, well, but... what do you I... expect, and why now? Because it's my last chance. I mean, I spend more time talking to these damn plants than I do to people my own age. But, Quinn, the cost, what those idiots are going to do to your mind. Rote learning. They'll teach you to memorize, not understand. They will erode your innate reasoning skills. Exactly. Why would you ever want to leave this healthy, oxygen-rich learning environment to go breathe recycled farts all day in a concrete coffin for your mind? I don't know that sharing a bedroom with Aunt Mary and Jay Smoke is exactly a healthy environment. Quinn, modern education produces specialized workers for a technical society that, that is structured on an exploitative... Labor model that hasn't evolved since the Industrial Revolution. Do you understand? Yes, I understand, but... I understand, sir. But do you know most kids your age wouldn't have a clue what we just said? You're much too special to be specialized. <clears throat> to be specialized. People go to high school, okay? Decent people, and I've met them. Who are the decent people? Pol Pot went to high school. George Bush went to high school. You and mom went to high school. Your mom thinks that these patio lights are better for our cover than lawn gnomes. Personally, I'm uh, inclined to disagree. You like the welcome mat? Exactly. Alaskan thunderfuck. Most nuanced smoke this side of paradise. Too complex to be engineered. Can't be cloned. My personal stash. Gwen, we didn't move here just for the anonymity. And it wasn't just because we were made. What else is there? I felt that it was the ultimate test for all of us to be able to live with them, but never have to be them. Because I was for a while. You were. In the 80s. Big money. Junk bonds, low interest. Everyone's borrowing, acquiring. It was all very persuasive. And even though your granddad was the best grower in the country, I took a job in the market. Everyone my age was doing it and they were getting rich legally. By the time everyone realized that it was all based on a false valuation of the world's corporate worth, we lost everything. So what happened? You were just born. We lived in a van with leaky exhaust. Your mother would check on you every two minutes, make sure you're still breathing. I lost myself out there. I followed. Dad, I'm not following anybody. Just know that your mother and I aren't middle-aged criminals taking our children out for a thrill ride. It's our freedom, bud. It's our nature. Yours, too. Whatever you do, don't risk that. Don't worry, Dad. I, I won't. God, I hate these lights. This is disgusting. Ugh, a little privacy, please. Trust me, I'm saving your life. Nerd. Nerd. Preppy scum. Disaster. I bought this one special. No. Quinn, wear this. No, I want to make a good impression. Okay, well then, if anyone asks, you're an only child. Fine by me. Take this. That's all. Looks will be dry, but you're going to ace the sciences. And I will help with math as best I can. Look great. Like them all. Thanks, Mom. I made you a tahini and honey sandwich. Mom. Oh. 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 It's okay. Oh, don't 
let them brainwash you? I won't, Mom. You're the, you're the best teacher I ever had. I never will have. So, I'll uh, start on the enrollment, and for now, you can use the school facilities to study for your equivalency exam. Thank you, sir. Mr. Slack. You must sign the attendance sheet. If you do not sign the sheet, you lose library privileges. Signing the sheet for another student is prohibited. The sheet is located on my desk, under the plastic apple. Mr. Kravitz, you signed the sheet. You must be here. Lenny. Lenny. Rabbits, will you please identify yourself? Then Fern goes, since you and Phil are just friends, can I ask him to the prom? She's so dreaming. Well, hello, did you see that porn she wrote on his wall? Dirty slut. I'm a cow on Facebook. I don't need new photos, I need a new face. No worries. I know this doctor who gives Botox injections to minors. Botulin toxin A was actually first used to treat cross-eyedness. My mom, she calls it facotomy. <laughs> Pesotomy. Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz. If someone signed in for Mr. Lenny Kravitz, it's against the rules, which clearly state no student may sign in for another. God, what's wrong with you kids? What's going on? Is he okay? Hey, they're trying to give him a nervous breakdown. It's kind of their project before graduation. So why are they trying to give him a nervous breakdown? Because he's there. Try to stay off the radar. Speaking of radar, can you tell me how to find B241? Up your ass <laughs> and take a left. Yeah. What are, you, what are you doing? We're germinating seeds and recording the various effects. I'm eating them. I, I know a bit about seeds. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can help. Really? That would be great because my lab partner is a total distraction. <laughs> hey, Hall Rat. I, uh, I don't know what you're thinking, man, but that's not your cheese. <laughs> Okay. How's your first day going? Well, I, I think I could go to biology class. <laughs> well, no, for uh, legal reasons, we can't really do that till you're enrolled. Once you pass the exam, we'll set you up. By then, she'll be set up. Crystal, hey. So, where are you going? Home. Yeah, me too. Neighbor. No, well, you know what they say about the boy next door. Oh yeah, well, what's that? He's usually a serial killer. So what's your dark secret? Me? There's no secrets, like none at all. Damn, that is boring. So you like Teenage Head? I love that band. Oh, yeah, me like, too. They're so cool, like this hidden treasure or something. I have all their music. I've, I've got the original vinyl. Get out, really? Yo, mm -hmm. Crystal. Hey, lab partner. Hey, hop in. Give you your right home. You, you guys don't know each other? No. Well, Phil Stedman, class president. This is... Um... Quinn. Hi. Queen? No, it's, it's Quinn, like the mighty Quinn. Like. Checkerboard shirt with camel pants. Such a cry for help. Hey, Chris, will you sign my chastity pledge? No sex till prom party? 
I'm raising money for UNICEF. You want to ride too, man? Yo, man, Steve, this is the exact limo. Not a fucking bookmobile. Not cool. So, like, what's up with, you know, your sailor suit? Man? Nothing's up. I got practice for the musical, but I still kick ass. Hey, I just um, remembered I got to go to the guidance counselor talk about college interviews. I'll see ya. We'll be seeing you, Quinn. Yeah. Cool. Cool. There's something fucking wrong about the hot new girl and the loser new guy hitting it off. They're completely ignoring our social structure. I know who he is. He's that freaky Boo Radley guy that mows our lawn. Isolate the radical. You need a thing, bro. What thing? Jocks have sports, nerds have metal superiority, and stoners have hot knives and metal shops. Without a thing, you're gonna be shunned by all. You've never even been inside, Hope. With my network of sales agents, I don't have to. I have a perfect perspective. On what? High school, dickwad. It's a jungle in there. I'll protect you, if I can. You're my little sister, Hope. Little sister. And you're like Bambi with a bazooka. If you compromise me or the clan, I'm cutting you loose. Do you hear me? Compromise you? To paraphrase Aristotle, Quinn, don't fuck with my good life. Hope, there are cops in that school because someone, God only knows who, is selling. Cops? Schmops. You're what scares me. Fine. 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 I can handle this my own way. You're so neat. The dance is neat. These are for you. Really? How sweet. Of oh, the wild. Uh, those are mums. That's purple butterfly, and those are daisies. Uh, so you don't have to pick the schools. Hey, you should know some people are talking about you. Talking about what? Philip said he saw you peeping in his window, but I said that was impossible because of the bird flu. Case of mistaken identity, right? Right. Mistaken identity, that. <laughs> I'm so relieved you're not a pervert. Me too. Talk about dark secrets. Uh, well, I never trust gossip. At my last school, um, there were rumors I was a nymphomaniac. How awful for you. Yeah. Dude, you smell good. He smells like a big spliff. How much for a G? Hey man, are you holding or what? Let's roll him up from his toes. Oh, yeah. Pop him up, man. Give us your shirt. So, yeah, the shower's right through there. Uh, unfortunately, the school doesn't supply towels, so. I'll let her try, sir. It's more eco friendly. It's more friendly. to start somewhere. The dancers need a dance floor. The swingers got a swing. Fashionable people doing questionable things. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I could be in the mid school, so be hard for it. Yeah. You just like wearing makeup. In that sailor suit. HMS kind of bad. They needed a baritone, bitch. Anyone have any extra pants? I am pleased to announce that Riverview High has 
just been awarded a citation from the Board of Education for being a regional leader in anti-bullying initiatives. Our school slogan, it's cool to be kind, is soon to be adopted for a nationwide campaign. Congratulations to all. not how it looked. Some guy stole my clothes. I'm not a pervert or anything, really. Uh -oh. So, college interview's going well? Crystal, would you excuse yeah. us? Definitely. Kids around here are pretty devious. I wouldn't trust any of them with my gym gear. Thank you, sir. Make sure you pass the test, Quinn. I wouldn't want to lose her either. I said family meeting 10 minutes ago. I, I don't have time for a family meeting. I've only got two days left to study. There's always time for family. And this is rather important. Mm -hmm. We've had another outbreak of aphids on our crop. Oh, no. Dad, you don't mean... Yes. I've had to release the ladybugs. The last time they were crawling everywhere for weeks. Quinn, we don't use pesticides here, and besides, ladybugs are our friends. Mm, they're magical. Friends, on the social scale of embarrassment, ladybugs are a 10. Yes. Why don't we just leave the house for a while? That's a great idea. We'll let these guys get started, and you two can help me collect back guano at the park. Oh, honey, that's a great idea. Our shame goes to 11. When they're crawling in my bed, they're a little more than friends. You're never gonna get them all. I'm crashing at my safe house till their cycle runs out. As if it isn't hard enough trying to make friends, real friends, now I gotta deal with these ladybugs. Quinn, build your peeps one at a time, and remember the first rule of sales. Which is? Only flow to those you know. Kids, time for dark phase. I I'm not done studying! Quinn, you can't. Those are Dad's prize clones from Chiapas, Mexico. I don't care, hasta la vista. Huh? It's your Mexican revolution. Good night, you guys. I love you. I love you, too. Hear that? I love you. What do you think you're doing? I thought you might want company. Look into my eyes, man. I'm a teen psychopath. Can't you tell? I've never seen one up close. Only thing keeping those bullies off of my back is that my brooding bitterness might set me off on a fucking shooting spree. You won't really, though. Will you? Who knows? But if you sit with me, you're marked like me. It's just lunch. Eating. If you can get her, you'll be marked like a fucking hero. off that stock. You just cut off a good butt, bud. So much to memorize, my eyes hurt. Hey, well, don't forget to feed the Mexicans. Because if you could take five showers a day, you can water a few plants. You know, when I was your age, I had 20 plants to take care of. Oh, what a tired curriculum. It's a recipe for mind control. Quinn, is it really worth it? It's for me. It's for you? Hey, I don't know if you've noticed this, but we're not exactly an open house here. 
Hi. It's a little... It's a girl across the street. What are you doing here? Um, before I forget. Here. Thank you. Do you want to study together? I mean, I know you're in catch-up mode and I'm trying to get my grades up for college, so... Sure. So... Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to uh, study, study with you. <laughs> Can we do it at your place? Because ours, ours is a real mess right now. Yeah, I'll check with my parents. I'll grab my books. Okay. Our house is not messy. If anyone can operate a full-scale indoor farm and a home and do better... The answer to your question, Mom, is yes. It's very worth it. We'll call it intermission. But we could be back at any time. Don't worry, Dad. Quinn has a major test tomorrow. You have a major test tonight. Yes, sir. So, what chemistry are they teaching you kids these days? Actually, sir, it's a bit obsolete. What does this note mean? Feed Mexicans. Foster children. We have foster children, little Mexicans, and, um, we mail them food. How sweet. Hmm? Now, kids, I want you to stay downstairs because we're painting the upper floors. Yes, the fumes are suffocating. They're nice. Can you believe my parents locked the liquor cabinet? They're scared we're gonna get drunk and have sex because they haven't had any in years. None in years? That must be really tough. Anyway, my parents don't even like me drinking coffee, even though they knock back like a bottle of wine a night each. Yours? Uh, they have their vices. The coffee's good. <laughs> I drink it to piss them off. I'd even get suspended again just to see them get excited about something. You got suspended? From my last school. It's kind of hard to hide a joint in your kilt, you know? I bet. Anyway, my dad's like, I'm not paying for private school education anymore, blah, blah, blah. So, we moved. Here. Hey, you don't have any, do you? Um, any what? Any weed, you dork. Uh, what, what makes you think I, I do, I would? I don't know. You seem like a misfit. I, I do. Yeah, but in a good way. You know, like, no one really knows you. You're like a mystery man. Mystery's kind of my thing. I could really use a hit right now. But I can't keep any because my anal parents search my room every fucking day. Why, well, I don't have any. It's probably a good thing. It makes me totally horny. I think I on second thought I might know someone. Mm -hmm. They moved away. Hey, I bet Philip could hook us up. Philip? He says he's connected. I know he's like this weird preppy A student, and his dad's this influential lawyer. He's he's got the goods. Not tonight, okay? What? You don't want to have some fun? Look, I don't want your parents to move you away again. Neither. <laughs> We're gonna ace it. I know it. I just want you to know that. My palms don't always sweat this much. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, hi. I need a strategy session. I can't do it. Why not? Sir, I've never had grades before. I don't know how to memorize. I'm gonna have to tell Crystal I failed, and my dad is probably gonna be happy. Your dad would be happy you failed. I wasted your time, and I'm sorry. Look, the kid comes to me without records. You know, maybe he's got a history he's not proud of. Yeah. I don't see a kid who wastes time. I see someone who wants to stand on his own. A fall on his face? No. I see someone who's ready for a test of life, of character. Someone who's strong enough to overcome whatever it is in his past. Make a fresh start. Let's take the shot, shall we? <laughs> you 
begin. All right, listen up, guys. If that weed whacker gets enrolled here, he's gonna be in my face everywhere. I mean, he's already working my prom date. Options. Well, your general popularity makes you a shoe in for valedictorian, but maintaining image is so key. Yeah, well, I better still be valedictorian, and my, my dad's not gonna pay for law school, so avert aggression is out. Damn! I say rat fucking socially, Sky. His parents are so weird. My kid sister's a wood sprite, and they scared her half to death. My mom sees his mom at the mall. His mom shuts her eyes and has some kind of seizure every time she passes baby gap. Weird or what? All right, all right. This is good. Drop your pencil, Clint. I hear rumors he's got a sister who's a teen call girl. Mm -hmm. She talks about some guy named Aristotle. Must be her pimp. <laughs> yeah. Good work, people. Now listen, let's get more. Okay? What the? Signs like the back of my hand, Mom. Honey, we passed. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad somebody's having a good day. These Alaskan clowns aren't taking too complex for me. We have a beautiful celebration dinner planned for you tonight. Sorry, Mom. Forgot to tell you, I'm invited to Crystal's place for dinner. Bud, your mom and I have been working on this all day. Let's do it tomorrow, okay? Cool. Cool. We should know better. Living things break ground and flourish and flower, only to be cut down. Quinn? What are you doing here? What happened to the Mexicans? I don't know. Maybe they picked up irregularities in the, you know, the pH levels. Or... Yeah, and, and when did this arrive? We're invited. Maybe you forgot to put no invitations on the door. It says that you and your parents are cordially invited to dinner Ted, tomorrow. I'm kidding. Well, maybe your mother and I would like to. <laughs> Since when? All you do is make fun of everyone who lives around us. You don't even know it's black or white. We are the bad guys, Dad. I prefer to think of myself in shades of gray, thank you very much. How are you feeling, Rolla? I must have picked up a touch of flu somewhere. I'm a tad nauseous. I'm famished. I haven't had too much appetite in the past few days. I told you we should have postponed. Perhaps we should go to the hospital. Oh, wow. The hospital. Well, there's something wow-worthy about that. Uh, no, I've never, I've just never been to a hospital before. Not even when you had the bird flu? You had what? 
Don't do it, Bryce. I figured it out. He's troping. You introduce an artificial light source, and everything bends to it. Well, maybe we should bend with him. I won't let him be ashamed of us. Well, you're on your own. Quinn, when you were born, you must have been in the hospital then. Mom, would you just let him eat? Oh, no, actually, I was, uh, I was born at home. Oh, dear. Was it an emergency? So you're a natural birth? Natural childbirth is reckless. There is no reason why the process can't be made as safe and pain-free as possible. Dad delivers babies. Dad, would you just let him eat, please? Well, I was so young at the time, no one asked me which one I preferred. <laughs> and what do your parents do, Quinn? Um. Yes, what do they do besides breed in a septic environment? Would you please just let him eat like a normal human being? They, they have a, um, they have a home-based business. Oh, it's too bad they couldn't join us. Yeah, I know. But they've, uh, they've had theater tickets for ages. Tell us more about them. So, Mom, Quinn's, um, planning on going to university. Why don't you ask him about that? Excuse me. So what are you planning on studying in university? Well, I was thinking of being a guidance counselor. Or maybe a doctor. Ah. Oh. Hi, I'm Bryce Dawson, Quinn's father. Oh, oh no. what a nice surprise. No. About dessert. Creme brulee. <laughs> Interesting um, texture. Kind of tingly. Tingly. My wife sends her apologies. She would have loved to have joined us, but she was feeling a bit tired. Did you enjoy the theater? Oh, I plan to. Didn't you see a show tonight? Yes, of course. Uh, we saw a production of Hair. I didn't know it was running. A little early for a show to get out. Well, it was a shortened production. They should have called it Haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn tells us that your family sponsors children in Mexico. We don't see them that much because uh, they, they don't visit. Such a long way. And I'm sure it's very difficult for them to cross the border. You could most definitely say that. So, dear Crystal, my son has told me a lot about you. Really? Because he's told me nothing about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Haircut. <laughs> Haircut. It suddenly struck me as funny. Never apologize for <laughs> laughter, Marilla. It is the sweetest sound there is. And your creme brulee is. Well, it's an old family recipe. Were we going to the uh, <clears throat> hospital? I don't think we decide. Are you sure? That we didn't decide? Perhaps we should. Decide? No, go to the hospital. Maybe you should go to the hospital. Shh. How funny feet are. I've always thought so, Marilla. <laughs> I can't decide, though. Is it just my feet, or is everybody's feet funny? Charles? Do we have spiders? Spiders. Don't you see the spider webs? There's spiders up there. No, wait a while, they'll go away. We have ladybugs, they're not going away. What, what about the spiders? Who cares? I want you to look at my feet and tell me they're lovely. They're lovely? <laughs> <laughs> 
Seems relaxed, mission accomplished. Relaxed? Was that relaxing for me? I used a mild sense of Miller. Classy buzz, subtle undertones. Mild makes it all right. <laughs> Bud, we could have thrown some Afghani Durban at him. They'd be naked dancing in there right now. <laughs> Her mom is sick. Yeah, she is better now. You know there's more poison in grocery store pie than in our dessert. Stop saying our and we. I had nothing to fucking do with this. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Dawson. Mom and Dad don't usually go to bed this early. Oh, that's quite all right. I'm sure they're going to sleep very well tonight. Good night, Dad. Good night, Crystal. It was a pleasure meeting you. Good night. You OK? Ugh. My parents have been on the verge of divorce for years, drilling with that kind of pressure. I can understand pressure. Hey, you want to know a secret? I had sex with a girl once. You like girls? I wouldn't do it again, but... <laughs> you know, it was an honest thing. <laughs> More honest than my parents ever had. <sighs> Your turn. Uh, for what? Tell me something about you I would never expect. Oh. <laughs> um... You know, something you've never told anyone, just me. What's the rush? Shouldn't we take our time? Well, I don't know, after grad, we may not see each other again. This could be our only chance. I thought you liked me mysterious. Yeah, it was intriguing at first, but, you know, if we're gonna be close, then we should be able to talk to each other about anything, right? What if there was something about the boy next door? I knew it, I knew it, please. What? Hey. Tell me. I don't know if I can. If you trust me, I will trust you with everything. Come with me to prom. Then I'll tell you. It means that much to you to go with me? Yeah. Did I, did I do something? It's just it. And with a faint taste of cigarettes, you write how it really so. Ain't it wonderful when you're feeling all right? So I tickle up your backbone. Back. Some things are worth waiting for. And at the break of day, you sank into a dream. You dream. And at the break of day, you sank into a dream. All students regarding our recent ladybug infestation. There is no need for panic. The negative pH in the control soil is not balanced for acidity to transfer from air. Plus, the oxygen rating for this room is lower than necessary to support photosynthetic food construction. But with the additions of nitrate to dolometric or calcic limestone plus a half unit of 0 0.5 pH, there you go. Since you're so good in biology, man, you must already know. You know what? 
that I'm taking Crystal to prom. The best boy always takes the best girl. It's for the good of the species. You think? I doubt that Darwin was referring to the Riverview High prom. And for your own best interests, you gotta get out of my way, or you will get destroyed. How presidential of you. See, around here, man, family means everything. And I happen to know that you come from an entire family of, like, real strangos. You want the whole school to find out? Well, I doubt I'm the only one with a mildly dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah. I bet you're the only one whose dad's been seen collecting bad shit from the parquet. <laughs> so you just gotta get lost again. All right, Quinn? Well, you're the one getting buried. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. I don't think I'm really welcome. Quinn, it's the last party before grad week. Everyone is welcome. Come on. So what if I'm a bitch, right? I had a good teacher, right? My mom. Your mom is so fucking my dad. Hello, your dad's a total skis. Once I caught him jerking off watching Degrassi. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so okay, we're having a parent bash. We're going clockwise, which means you're next. Or is it that way? Yay, I'm finally getting the spins. I am so going to prom soon. You're happy about that. Duh, so I can fit into a smaller prom dress. God, you're lost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Quinn, it's your turn. My dad's a pain at times, but uh, mostly my parents are sort of cool. Oh, it can't be for real. Hey, do you want to go get a drink? Did I say something wrong? Cause... No, what you said to the guts. I think it was a costume party. You have to take his sailor suit off. Oh man, he sleeps in that thing. Cool party, guys. Hey, Quinn. Come as you are, huh? <laughs> Loser. You first, man, Steve. Mm. Dude, where are your manners? I say, the prettiest girl in school goes first. What is that? Dude, it's weed, man. You know, smoke. What fucked up planet are you from? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's Jack Flash. Okay, what? A derivation, really. A Bolivian strain crossed with Nepalese. Heavy on top, not peaky, long lasting, but a bumpy come down cut like this. Whoa! I dig it! For a real high? Check out Afghani Durban. The textures are sublime, it's like inhaling silk. Shit, you're making that up. Yeah, it's just weed. This man knows the smoke. How do you know all that? Just read about it somewhere. Do you know scientists have found a receptor for THC on brain cells? Humans and cannabis have evolved together since the dawn of time, which means society's attempts to curb nature are not only misguided, but also futile. Far fucking out, man. I heard about that. I thought it was a room. He's like a jet. I'll be right back. I get high just listening to him. Excuse me. Nice performance, dickhead. I'm trying to make an impression. As a weed expert? Oh! I can float my peeps because of my financial hold on them. These jerks are not your peeps. Oh. This toilet seat is wet. This cannot be your thing, bro. I can't go to juvie. I would not look hot in a lime green jumpsuit. How come it can be your thing, but not my thing? My thing is never selling direct to these drunken dolts. Quinn, they don't even know my real name. It's not how I thought it'd be. And will you keep shut about the peaky come down crap? You sound like dad. I do. Here, better dry your ass, Mr. Cool. Bend over. Oh. I'll help you. Oh. Do you want to go out looking like you pissed yourself? Well, oh. I got guests about to puke. Whoever's banging in my bathroom, I swear to you. Oh. 
It's not that. She's my sister. Hell, I am. I'm not his sister. I didn't even know you had a sister. He's locked in the bathroom with his sister. <laughs> See, I told you it was a girl. He's better than one in the family, too. His dad abused some little wood sprats. He's from a whole tribe of, like, freaks. And his sister, his sister even dresses like a call girl. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh, you want to hear more? Huh? How about mom and dad? I'm gonna say daddy poo collecting bat shit from the park. Oh, don't listen to me, Blondie. He might be a freak, but he's no pervert, and he's definitely my brother. Okay. You preppy dick! Oh. Boys, we're going. after she punches out my friend? Your friend has had it in for me since the day I came to school. Yeah, and when did you come to school, Quinn? Came back, I mean. It seems like you've had the bird flu for like 10 years. And how can you do people's gardening when you're so sick you can't go to school? Okay, maybe I wasn't that sick. You no, know, if you lied about that, maybe you do peep in people's windows. No. Crystal, I wanted to see what a normal house looked like. Just inside. I thought you were different. Now that you weren't full of the usual bullshit and lies. I guess you are. Normally we don't involve parents in an incident like this uh, party off school grounds, but uh, Quinn is new and I thought it'd be good for us to meet. I understand you have a daughter? Tell me, wh what qualifies a person to offer guidance to young people? Dad? Mm -mm. I'm curious if certification from a college that's most famous for its bitch and keg parties is enough that a parent would turn over the future of his child to a limited athlete desperate to relive his glory among minds at the level of his own. Dad? Limited. You said it, not me. I'm very sorry, sir, and I promise that this will not happen again, ever. Hey, it's a smoke. Smoke man, looking yummy. Take it easy, smoke. Thanks for dropping by. Smoke man? What was that all about? I get this home visitation from Jockey McJockerson, and then I find out that you're the smoke man? Look, I didn't mean to, but it's kind of my thing now. Oh, well, you know, your thing is gonna get us into a whole lot of trouble. And Quinn, how many times have I told you not to have people over here unannounced? You know what, he showed up on his own because he actually gives a shit about me. Oh, and what are you implying, that I don't? I mean, what the fuck do we have, Dad? Not the family business. We don't have that in common, and, and not sports. I mean, we, we never even played a game of catch. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't indoctrinate you into all the macho bullshit. Oh. You want to go get some father-son crossbows or something? No. You know what's bullshit, Dad? You. Because you couldn't hack the real world. You not only screwed up your own life, but your kids' lives, too. Well, guess what? Not mine. No. You know what? Not mine. Not anymore. Whoa. Hey, bud. If we get made over this, we have to evacuate this house immediately. There'll be no time for saying goodbye to all your friends. And I guess I'll wave. Lenny. Lenny. Lenny, 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 Lenny Kravitz. Will you please identify yourself? Just once. Before the school year ends. What's that smell? Is that a cigarette? What? Is someone smoking? That's a marijuana cigarette. Put it out, for God's sake, put it out! I, my wife smoked them. Oh, she left me for some hairy lead singer in a Gisu cover band. I haven't been able to listen to the radio since 1986. <laughs> I hate you, Bert Cummings! Where is it? Oh, I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, um, I'm 
I'm Lenny Kravitz. It's so good to finally meet you. Oh, man. Is he burn leaning over that jar? All right, wrap that. Hey, Smo. I just thought you should know. I'm getting D. Oh, you need some tutoring? Silly D cups. Silicone implants? It's a grad present for my mom. So, got a prom date yet? Hey, Smoke! I thought you were going with Crystal. I'm going to the prom with Philip. You can't. He's an asshole. You've never been honest with me. I, I don't even know who you are. Crystal, it's still me. I'm just more normal now. I don't know if there's anything normal about this, Quinn. I, I thought it's what you wanted and, and what your parents wanted. Maybe it's what they want. Just look, have a nice life, okay? Well, Crystal, don't. Please. Maybe you should just stay away. I'm just wait. If I'm totally honest with you, will you change your mind? I don't know. Then I'm gonna show you everything. We're losing him. It's just a crush. It's the age. It'll pass, we know that. It'll blow over. None of this is worth losing our children for. No high-minded principle is worth losing one Quinn or one Hope. And is it worth risking everything that we've built? For what? The girl next door? For love. You and I have never left each other behind. Crystal means a lot to him. I know how that feels. Then you finally know your son. Mom? Dad? Can we talk? It's time we did. Come here, baby. Hey, bud. What's happening? Try not to hurt you. I've got one for you too. Oh, Quinn, I picked this from the garden and it'll complement your dress much nicer. Mom, maybe I should no. just wear Quinn's. Oh, no. You can't have our little girl looking anything but perfect. But he. It, it doesn't matter either way, as long as you're beside me. Recording for posterity. It's going to be a wonderful night. And if she's not home by 12, that tux will look fine at your funeral. Where are you taking me? Promise is a promise, right? I wonder what we said about the boy next door having a dark secret. Well. Not a serial killer. Hello, Crystal. It's so great to finally meet you. Hi. <clears throat> we met at the party? Um, what are you... Crystal, this is awkward, and we have a bit of a situation here. But we know that, that if Quinn trusts you, then we trust you. We can trust you, right? Yeah. Because even though we have no affiliation with organized crime, we do have ways to guarantee your silence. Bryce. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. kidding. I'm sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, it's um, really humid in here. You get used to having jeans cling. <laughs> but we're very clean. Yeah, not like those other grow-ups that you read about. Okay, let's take some pictures. Pictures? Yeah. Come on, inside. 
Quinn, do I have this on the right setting? Yeah, just use the flag. Okay, got it. Okay, everybody, get a little bit closer together. It's a family tradition. Hey, Crystal, did you know that Quinn was breastfed until he was five and a half? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You guys... Say munchies. 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 Okay, that's great. <laughs> Is there a bathroom water just to freshen up? Or through there, first door after the kitchen. Thanks. You think she's cool? I don't, I don't know yet. Well, you said that she smokes a bit, so if she rats on us, it's tip for tat. Dad, there's a difference between having the occasional beer and living in a brewery. I don't know what this means. Thank you. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> is it okay if I get a drink? This heat is making me really thirsty. You gotta say. Great iced coffee, Mrs. Dawson. Yeah, you gotta say. Oh shit. You're gonna want these. You're so Can you hear us? Hey, driver, want a threesome? You can't hear us. Holy shit! Oh my god, I can't believe it. That is so huge. Mormons? How could you keep this from me? Oh my god, now it all makes sense. Is it okay? You trust me this much? I love you this much. Well, would you? If you ever found anything this big out about me? Of course. You know, prom is going to be pretty anticlimactic after this. <laughs> That's for sure. But, um, we could do something to make it a little more memorable. Adding you to my exceptional persons list. Yeah, right under Garth Brooks. <laughs> well done, sir. I gotta find Crystal. I gotta find a drink. I haven't been to high school in 20 years. I wish I could have waited longer. Don't worry, Mom. I'll spare you this trauma. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry. What for? You're coming with me, Quinn. What's going on? What, what's going on? What's going on? Dead! Please Dead! Hey, okay, Quinn. Just do what they say. Dead! Mom! Please do not attack me. Fascist! Please don't Mom! Hey! What's going on? Back up. Police. Dead! Police. Dead! Dead! Police. Let's see some ID. Here's some fucking ID. Back I'm sorry. Tell me something about you that I would never expect. So I was wondering if you wanted to study together. I mean, I know you're in ketchup mode and what's your dark secret? I could really use a hit. You don't have any deal. If you trust me, I will trust you with anything. Squid is offered to take care of our girls. Maybe you should just stay away. 
Connors. Where do you live, Quinn? This is no me. Feed my chicken. The way you need to work. I don't want you going upstairs. We're painting the upper floor. Fumes are suffocating. Crystal, the china goes upstairs. Boarding for posterity. How much your dark secret? They have their vices. Yeah. Yeah. I was. But the point next door. You know we're invited? We are the bad what guys. What do your parents do? What do they do besides breed in a septic environment? Home-based business. Blood dessert. Creme brulee. Well, it's an old family it's recipe. Flash. This man knows his smoke. Yeah. See, I knew I was the best boy. Happy graduation, bud. We call it Corsage Cam. Quinn, we'd like to help you continue down the road you started. Or we'll make sure you spend the next five years in adult prison. We don't need your statement, but it'd be much better for you if you tell us in your own words. Yes. Tell us how you put your filthy hands all over my daughter. Charlie. She's not really his daughter. He goes undercover. He gets carried away. Where is she? That's not important now. What's important is your future, Quinn. If you want to go to college, we can help arrange that. Based on these arrangements, I can almost believe it. Building an airtight case takes time. And we had to make certain the plants were in the house. But there's more to it than that. We've been watching you a long time, Quinn. Not just your dad, but you. Yes, this is one of the major busts of the year. But I also saw it as a rescue operation. You belong in our family. I want to talk to Crystal. Please. I'm a grad student in criminology. They tap me because I look young. I, I didn't know it would be this hard. Oh, I feel bad for you. Don't hate me. It was my job. Crystal, is that your real name? I feel like we're going to be intimate now, and before I give you my total honesty, maybe I should know your fucking real name. It is Crystal. So are you the good cop or the bad cop? Or the let's make it memorable in the limo cop? What happened wasn't supposed to happen. I threw the corsage out the window, remember? It seemed sexy at the time. I messed up and I got into a lot of trouble. But I am not sorry. What makes one of us? I felt a real connection to you and then... I mean, it just made everything else so much more difficult, you know? I tried to quit and they wouldn't let me because... You know, it was for your good. How could you play with me? How could you... I thought I was helping to catch bad people. <laughs> you know, and then I met you and your parents, and you guys were... You were nothing like what I expected. And... I don't know, after all this, I don't even know... You know, I don't know where I belong, I just... I know that you did this because you care about me. And I can't stop caring just because I'm supposed to stop. I know. Mom. Mom's fine. She 
Todd High School, which, as we all know, is much worse than any prison. Hope. They don't know. I suspect that Daddy's little girl is probably running a South American country by now. I feel sorry for South America. <laughs> so what happens now? Well, your mom will get a couple of years. And as for me, you're looking at the new Bud Man of Alcatraz. They offered you a deal, huh? Their whole thing was a giant lie. There's nothing real. No. There is. What? We're a family, Quinn. For generations, a fucking force of nature. And now you're gonna give us up. No, Dad, I won't. Yes, you are. But yes, you no, are. No, I yes, won't you do are. it. I won't. Yes, you are. I hope that you learn to memorize at that school of yours, because this is the end, my friend. Hey, hey, bud, one more thing. Catch. Please identify your father. That's my father. Is that your mom beside him? Thank you, Quinn. Thank you for the courage of your testimony. You're an extraordinary young man to have lived through this. take the stand. They didn't need it. I didn't need it. So what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in school? Dropped out of criminology. So, um, my days are kind of open at the moment. Are you going to university? Yeah, we could ever tell you. I wish I knew what parts were real. You were. You really dropped criminology. Decriminalized? You go wherever you please, love, and I'll be running. Hold up, so we've no time for these. Love can't waste time. Yeah. 
not much of a conversational piece. You say whatever you feel, love and I'll be singing stories and songs. How long before they're out? I'm six months. Lawyer says that'll serve five years if he's good. Big if. All right, well, uh, by my model, you'll be in seven figures by then. Not a bad pension. Getting them to retire will be a whole other ball game. Yeah. Door. Thunderfuck. Just a little first generation. Wait till you see your kids. Open the door! You fucking brown noser! <laughs> <laughs>